restaurant channel members, viewers and subscribers, very good day to you all. So once again, I am really happy to meet you all. This time with a very genuine review about a Scopus Index Journal. It is called as Dian Wang Jishu. So hearing this name, you might not be familiar with. But if I say the English uh, translated version, it is called as Power System Technology. Of course, now you will uh, know about this journal. So we'll try to find out in this video the time they take uh, from submission till the publication of the article in this particular journal website and about the article processing charges they are collecting through the back door for the cloned or maybe fake website. Maybe you might be one among them ready to submit uh, to the cloned or maybe a fake website without wasting much of our time. Let us go straight into the genuine review of Dian Wang Jishu power system technology. So this is the journal we are talking about. We are searching for power system technology journal in the Google search and we are getting the first search result from powertechjournal.com. We also have Sai Imega journal rank discussing about this uh, particular journal. Also we have other indexing databases uh, discussing about this particular journal website. Actually, we are in a confusion whether this is actually the real journal or not. But anyway, we will go with this one. Okay. So here it is a powertechjournal.com. So here the ISSN number has been mentioned. They have claimed that it falls under Q1 quartile. We will try to cross check them. So the research area and category we can find mechanical engineering, electrical, electronics engineering, electrical power systems all related to electrical uh, engineering we can find over here and when we browse through the most viewed articles all of them are chinese author articles most downloaded articles also from chinese but when we browse through the current issue we can find you know too many articles uh, not only uh, confined to one particular country we also have articles from different countries when we browse through the about the journal uh, section we can find relatively the same information when we browse through the archive section we can find like uh, in every year like four issues being published so here you can understand that it is a quarterly journal and uh, when we browse through volume 48 issue number one 2024 we can find more number of articles when you browse through the peer review policy we can understand that they follow a double blind peer review process which means that whatever article that you are submitting uh, will be reviewed by independent reviewers they do not know about each other so they will be giving you the status according to their review and when we browse through this peer review policy it uh, looks so general enough uh, they do not have proper technical details when we browse through the contact section they do not have a affiliation address or maybe pin code or maybe live google map location phone number nothing has been displayed just one email id has been displayed when we scroll down the website we can understand that they are available in whatsapp when we click on this particular link it redirects to one particular phone number so it is a plus 968 so plus 968 means it belongs to oman but uh, as you can understand that it is a Chinese journal, definitely it should start with plus 86. We do not know why a uh, Oman contact is being displayed in a Chinese journal. Again, with regards to this particular journal, they do not have a proper editorial board section. So who is the editor in chief? Who are the editorial board members? Were they from different countries? Uh, uh, email ID or maybe biography an orchid profile could have been linked with them so these details are actually missing actually these are the primary requirements for getting a isn number without this they will not give isn number for any particular journal so these details are actually missing in a, a scopus index claim website so about this particular website they have uh, you know little information about this uh, chinese uh, scopus index uh, claim journal and we do not have a editorial board section we find too many articles in one particular issue so anyway we will go with another one particular website after further research after too much of research actually we found this particular uh, website okay it is uh, cnki.net from there they are pointing to chn.overc.cnki.net so the page uh, points out to power system technology the same issn number so the organizer is state uh, grid corporation of china so here straight away in the home page they have given the issues okay 2024 we have four issues so which means that it is a quarterly journal 
and when we browse through each of the years we can find four issues so average like 42 till 43 documents we can find in each of the issues maximum articles are from the chinese authors when we go through one particular article actually the whole website is uh, displayed in chinese i translated in the english language so we can see a summary keywords doi a valid doi uh, topics classification number everything they have displayed clear cut when you browse through the contact section they have given a complete affiliation address with pin code with telephone number email fax number uh, we have you know website as well so this looks as a open transparent and a complete website so now that we have found two websites so we will try to find out with the sai imago journal rank if we get any information so we search for power system technology and we have got the search result okay so country is china so energy and engineering like uh, electrical and uh, electronic engineering mechanical engineering it comes into publisher name is not displayed h index is 88 is a very good score same isn number coverage shows 2004 till 2005 and then 2010 till 2023 anyway we will cross check with the uh, scopus website okay so down you can see scope information not localized quartiles for uh, electrical electronic engineering mechanical engineering it comes under q1 quartile and for energy engineering and power technology it comes under q2 quartile okay so we can browse through the two year three year and five year statistics of this particular journal so down in the comment section we do not uh, find any promising comment so they are asking only general queries so in sai imago journal rank we do not have any proper links and we cannot verify uh, through the uh, home page or maybe how to publish in this journal or maybe email id nothing has been displayed in the sai imago journal rank but anyway we will uh, cross check with the scopus website so now in the scopus website in the sources in the title being selected you can search for power system technology okay so i am showing you this one because you should know the exact name okay so it is dian wang jishu or power system technology okay so the exact name what we found with the second website when we try to click on this particular link it uh, redirects here power system technology scopus coverage years 2004 till 2005 2010 till present okay so whatever displayed in sai imago journal rank is correct okay so publisher is power system technology press same isn number same subject area and then there is no source home page which means that we cannot cross verify but anyway there are other means to check as well so in scopus content coverage we can find 2024 172 documents already being indexed we are right now to the end of april okay and 2023 we find 532 documents so average we can find like 500 odd documents being indexed in the uh, scopus database so they are maintaining this limit there are some journals which are maintaining 100 odd documents this journal is maintaining 500 odd documents every year so right now 2024 we have 172 documents okay we have right now two websites so what is the real website so when we browse through the latest issue of the uh, first website we find okay too many articles but of course it is lesser than 172 documents but however when you go to the second website okay the archive section when we browse through each of the articles of 2024 like uh, one particular uh, year we have four issues so one particular issue we have around like 42 till 43 documents being published on average if you total the total number of documents it exactly sums up to 172 documents even you can check with 2023 as well if you total the total number of documents that accounts to 532 so whatever being published in the second website is getting indexed in the scopus database which is a very very good sign and in the site score rank and trend we can find it falls in the 81st percentile so 76 till 99 it falls under q1 so whatever displayed in the sai imago journal rank the information has been found to be correct and about this particular journal we believe that this uh, journal will continue in the scopus indexing database for long because like average like uh, 500 documents they are publishing within a year average 42 uh, odd documents being published in one particular issue and from this we can confirm that the second website is actually the genuine or maybe the real website and the first website 
what is being circulated through the back door through the association through the agents is actually a fake or maybe a cloned website when you try to search for issn number of this particular journal in the master journal list uh, mgl.clarivate.com we are not getting the search result which means that this journal is not indexed in the web of science database when you go to abdc journalist we search for issn number we are not getting the search result which means that this journal is not indexed in the australian business teams council journalist and when we browse through the ugc care website we have ugc care group 1 and group 2 so since this journal comes under the scope of source list okay so which means that it is automatically coming under ugc care group 2 however there is also another link list of clone journals ugc care group 2 when you try to click on this particular link we try to search for the isn number we also search for the journal title we also search for dn wang uh, jishu we are not getting the searches maybe ugc care did not know about this uh, cloned or maybe fake website so about this particular journal we have the chinese name it is dn wang jishu which uh, many people would not know about so we have you know two websites first website is actually a cloned or maybe a fake website and second website is the genuine or maybe a real website so for the cloned or maybe fake website the acceptance is given within just three days and the publication happens within just 15 days and the cost they are getting is uh, 20,000 in Indian rupees or approximately $250 but for the second website we believe that they are not collecting any charge or maybe if they are collecting processing charge it should be you know lesser than $100 and the time they take from submission till the publication of the article is a maximum of 4 months. We believe that this journal will continue in the Scopus database for long provided we publish in the second website. As we find many of the uh, authors being Chinese in the second website it is better that you try to collaborate with a Chinese author then there are more chances that you can publish in this particular journal. Since this journal is indexed in the Scopus uh, database it is automatically indexed in the UGC care group too but however it is not indexed in the uh, web of science or maybe abdc journal quality list so if you have any clarifications questions queries past to or maybe negative experience please share them in the comment section so i'm sure you would have benefited a lot out of this useful review so see you then in another interesting yet another genuine review of a scopus web of science sci abdc or maybe ugc care group one or maybe group two list as well till then collaboration